This is very important because for you to understand why your hair has the buoyancy that it has, the elasticity that it has, the reason why it can get heat damage, color damage, the reason why certain chemicals and now your hair is limp and it's like, mm, is because the bonds are destroyed. Hey baddie, so this is a little bit of a different video um, and I'm gonna explain why, okay, in a minute. I feel like I'm supposed to be going forward with better quality videos and better sounds and I'm just going backwards, y'all. It's just getting to the point where it's just like, y'all just gonna get what y'all gonna get, okay? Now what had happened was that I shot a whole 30 something plus minute video, okay? Um, about this topic, which we're about to get into in a few minutes. But to be honest with y'all, I had a brand new mic because I was trying to give you guys sound and quality and the whole nine yards. And um, yeah, I ended up like not testing the freaking mic and I shot the video and there was no sound the entire time, okay? So I said all that to say, that's why sound check is there. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Fellow YouTubers, don't make the stupid mistake that I just made. That was a very, I'm not gonna say it was a costly mistake. I'm just gonna say like, bro, like y'all almost didn't get this video, okay? But I was like, you know what? Before I go to sleep, let me give y'all something. So for those of y'all who got a problem with the fact that I'm giving y'all this type of video, please let me know in the comments, okay? Okay, anyway, to the point, we're here to talk about bonds, hair bonds, okay? Why not hop on the topic because it's hot? Not only that, but like, I mean, I talk about science, right? It would only make sense for me to talk about hair bonds and Olaplex and then give you guys alternatives for those of you who are like absolutely not touching it, right? With a 10 foot pole, with a stick. So um, I have a whole video on the lawsuit for Olaplex and my thoughts, go watch that video. If I didn't post it yet, subscribe and you'll find out when it comes out. Anyway, so what are bonds basically? bonds are responsible for the appearance of your hair the how the way your hair looks the structure of your hair that's what bonds are responsible for okay so now you guys always hear about collagen and protein and keratin the hair is made up of protein the main protein that the hair is made up of is keratin while that is responsible for the scaffolding collagen is responsible for that scaffolding collagen is one of those unfortunate things that as we age we just we just lose it <laughs> and we don't produce more right so we're constantly re-injecting and collagen back into the body, etc. But bonds are a little bit different. They're more chemical compounds that are responsible for the way the hair looks. So that extra little, this little thing that I got going on right now, this is all based on bonds. And there's two types of bonds in the hair. There's hydrogen bonds and then there's disulfide bonds, okay? This is very important because for you to understand why your hair has the buoyancy that it has, the elasticity that it, ha that it has, the reason why it can get heat damage, color damage, the reason why certain chemicals and now your hair is limp and it's like, mm, it's because the bonds are destroyed, not necessarily the collagen. Okay? Now, over time, lack of collagen is gonna cause very limp, weak hair, regardless of the structure. So you can still have decent structure, but your hair is not, um, for the lack of a better term, is not robust. And that's because you need both, right? It's like, there's so many different ways. That's why bonds are very important. The other thing about collagen is it's responsible for what comes out of your follicle. Bonds are really responsible for the hair that's already sitting on your head. Like like mine looking like a chia pet okay um so that's what bonds are now again there's two types there's hydrogen and there's disulfide hydrogen is the weaker bond which is responsible for how your hair shapes after you wet it after you style it right so once you manipulate your hair that's what a hydrogen bond is disulfide bonds are stronger they're responsible for the overall structure scaffolding of your hair now that we know what are bonds how are they damaged i already said that through you know over manipulation not even over manipulation in general i like to go straight straight you know from time to time i like to be a rebel you know what i'm saying you live once and from time to, and i straighten my hair and we all know when you do that you run the risk of damaging your curl right we call it damaging your curl pattern that is destroying your, your bonds that's that's essentially what that is you're destroying the chemical bond by the way bonds by the way i by definition are protein structures that kind of form a, a bridge together um to kind of that like i said that scaffolding so that those are two protein structures that are coming together it's like a whole scientific atomic thing that doesn't even matter here 
just know that that's what it is okay it's overall this protein anyway so that's how you damage it color treating harsh chemicals straighten your hair first you break down the hydrogen bonds and then as a result the hydrogen bonds begin to weaken the disulfide bonds it's like you go layer to layer right hydrogen being the weakest disulfide being the strongest once you start destroying your disulfide bonds job please now and then of course environmental factors which if you live in new york like i do i mean it is what it is right <laughs> you got hot water it is what it is so now that's why insert repairing bonds right how do you repair bonds with products right that's how you repair bonds with topical products again collagen is something that you would have to have a better lifestyle you would have to you know re-inject you know take collagen supplements whatever 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 to help boost collagen to help you know get collagen going bonds on the other hand are things that you apply to, you have to fix topically because it's about the hair sitting on your head that's why you have uh, brands that we know like Olaplex that is designed to repair bonds of your hair now why this is important it's because one like with everything like with hair loss treatment it's a multifactorial approach it's a multifactorial approach to bond repair or just hair healthy hair in general and I'm talking about the hair that's already sitting on your head right not the hair growing out your scalp it's a little different today the conversation so the bottom line is when you are trying to repair your hair you do things like shampoo condition moisturize with um, mask or deep conditioning treatments you use protein mask protein treatments right these are all the things that you're doing and now something that has become very popular in recent years thanks to companies like Olaplex and others they're the biggest one that we know of is that they do, they go a little deeper beyond the surface of the hair shaft to repair the bond right so they've invested money in research and development to find out what are other ways that we can improve um, the elasticity the structure the buoyancy the power of the hair and that is you have to go deeper than protein treatments and moisture and moisturization right then then hydrating mask and, and conditioning treatments um obviously you know there's deeper but how what's the middle ground that no one else is dealing with and that's the bonds right so this was all scientific and so olaplex um how do they uh fix bonds well they have a patented i had to say it like that active ingredient i even get ingredient outright <laughs> active ingredient called bisaminopropyl diglycol demaliate okay it's a mouthful okay um and all it all it is is an active ingredient it's a patented ingredient meaning that it's unique specifically to olaplex but this active ingredient goes in it penetrates the hair shaft to the bond and it basically um repairs that bond over time right and so um it helps to prevent future damage it improves the hair structure it restores the strength um from the inside out right and you know and something that is important to know while hydrogen bonds are things that cannot be repaired they're like permanently damaged you know uh brands like olaplex can temporarily strengthen them and let me just give you an example about hydrogen bonds and how they can be permanently destroyed when you overly wet your hair that is not good for your hair it can cause breakage right it's over moisturization of the hair you should never really wash and go right you should be washing diffusing then going right because what happens happens to the hair is that that hair cuticle expands every time you wash it so that's where you insert hair growth oils they're good for basically ensuring that it seals the cuticle and that um it serves almost as a humectant to maintain moisture but to kind of mitigate that over expansion of your curl you think it's cute but when you overly 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 expand anything think elasticity think elastic it loses its luster it loses that elasticity and eventually over water right that's not even a word over water durization not a word i just made it up what of your hair can lead to damage right so after a while and for those of my curly girls who know this especially my curly you know afro latinas and my curly girls that's always wetting their hair and just running out in the in, in the sun like you know like it's cute all the time right because i was I'm, I'm one of them right you don't realize that all that water that you're leaving your hair wet even with product on it is constantly um expanding and extend extending that cuticle and it can lead to damage and 
once that hair is damaged, you can't, that, that hydrogen bond is damaged, you really can't fix that curl back. That's where big chops come in. So I'm, I'm giving you all these scientific terms behind the scenes of what we all know as all natural women. Like when you know your curl pattern is absolutely destroyed and you cannot get it back at that point, you do a big chop, right? And you focus on the new curls that are coming. That is the, the science behind it, the hydrogen bond, and of course the disulfide bonds. Okay, now um, because the hydrogen bond is weaker, once it's damaged, it cannot be repaired. So now, again, this is not about Olaplex. This is, without further ado, let's get to the video, right? I wanted to give you guys um, a backgrounder because I wanted to offer alternatives. So that being said, there are other brands in the market that promises to repair your bonds. And of course, based on my criteria, I always look at ingredients, I look at reviews, I look at quality, I look at absorption, I look at a host of different things. I wanna say there's like six tiers, right, to the, the criteria, to the qualifications of why I would call something a good product and put it on my list. And that's whether I've used it or not. So sometimes you guys are like, well, you'll never use it. No, I don't have to. I know how to read ingredients. You know what I'm saying? I know how to match ingredients with claims and see if something is full of cap, right? So without further ado, for those of you who are anti Olaplex because you're like, absolutely not. I've seen what they've done to those women and I'm just not gonna use it. I'm with you. I'm here with you. I got you. I got you, okay? So let's go. So the first one on my list is Nulastin. Nulastin has its own technology called Elastoplex um, that nourishes the hair's follicles um, and you get notice noticeable visible improvement within 16 weeks. They have a 16 week clinical evaluation that shows that it improves thinning for 80% of its participants. Again, here, this is according to them. It's ethically sourced, naturally, naturally derived ingredients. And of course, it's backed by five US patents. So this Elastoplex is their, of their own patent to repair bonds, okay? Um, and it repairs proteins and degraded follicles. So that's all really great, strong, powerful marketing words. I think what stood out to me the most were the clinicals. Um, I love products with technologies and I love products with patents, meaning that this is unique to that product. You can't get it anything, you can't get it anywhere else. So that's new last in. I'll try to include price and everything here for you okay now what i will say because i like to give cons for everything is that it says 80 percent of his participants of how many participants now i like to go searching the asterisks and searching the fine print but i couldn't find it on the site but how many participants were in this study was it five <laughs> like 80 percent of five people right i need to know numbers right is this an in vivo is this an in vitro study is it an evaluation or is it a study right which is different anyway i'm not going to keep going the next one, which I think a lot of my natural girls are gonna really appreciate is Bumble and Bumble. They have the Bumble and Bumble's Bond Building Repair Treatment. This is a weekly treatment that doesn't weigh down fine hair, which I'm a fine hair girl. In a fine hair world, it sucks because you it just looks cute, right? Until you have to touch it and it feels paper thin. But it is what it is, it's what God gave me, I'm happy. It is what it is, right? Anyway, so if you have fine hair, natural texture, it does not compromise your your natural hair texture. So you put it on five minutes in the shower and it utilizes a honey-based bond building complex that defrizzes and moisturizes the hair's cuticle. Um, this is most of the information that I have. Um, what I like about this treatment is that it's more, look at all my other videos. I'm gonna tell you right now, there is no such thing as chemical free, okay? That is a hoax, it's a lie and it's all cap. Okay, it's all caps. So I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna find anything that's all natural, but this, for the most part, you're gonna find things that are naturalish. You're gonna find things that are using less harmful chemicals or more naturally naturally derived chemicals, right? Or just chemicals for certain preserved as preservatives. So this one is more on the natural side because it uses that honey based bond building complex. So keep that in mind. And also, honey is an amazing humectant which draws in moisture. To the hair so it's kind of serving a dual purpose of bond repair and moisturization at the same time so this one is actually my favorite and I use it okay one of my favorites and I use it often I've been using it for a long time now um, this one is K18 for those of you who know me I am a geek when it comes to products and I have over a decade of experience being able to understand the pharmacology of products you know breaking down the clinical studies of products and the product inserts and understanding all the ingredients and the cocktails and how they work chemically in the body, right? This is what I've done professionally for over a decade. That's why I can come in, come on here and lollygag.
bag and bull crap with y'all because I know what I'm talking about, right? Anyway, so K18, why I really like that? And I said all of that to say, I like K18 because it has, not only does it have, um, you know, kind of like it's bond, like it's bond repair thing, like it's bond repair treatment to repair di um, disulfide bonds, just like Olaplex, but it adds another layer of having um, polypeptide chains. You know, basically it has peptides to repair polypeptide chains. Um, for those of you who don't follow me often, peptides are just proteins broken down into smaller proteins. They have to be broken down into smaller proteins so that the shaft and the follicle can actually absorb because it cannot absorb big proteins and so, Anytime you see a peptide um, in a product, it's there to repair polypeptide chains. And so it's kind of giving you a two for one. So this one um, has a, it has pretty much a game changing formula that can strengthen your hair and prevent breakage. And it claims that it can do it within four minutes. Okay, within four minutes, meaning after one use of using their leave, and this is a leave-in treatment. They have other products that I haven't used yet, but their main product, their claim to fame product is the leave-in bond treatment bond repair treatment and they say you can use it on wet and dry hair i don't know whose wet hair is going on on dry dry hair is going on but it ain't going on mine i personally uh use this as a leave-in conditioner when my hair is wet so for my for my natural girls you know when you're doing your lock or your lo your lco method or whatever new methods are are there i couldn't keep up you know this is a good leave-in um not to say alternative it's a good leave-in now me i have to be extra because k18 wasn't designed for <laughs> for style so I do the K18 as a base and then I put in another leave-in that's a little bit more for like help with curling and and and, and um so um yeah this one has a breakthrough formula formula and formulation with peptides and um disulfide bond repair um so K18 is definitely one if you were an Olaplex girl and you're really broken hearted about this situation you don't know what to do K18 is the other alternative now I will say it ain't cheap and it might actually be more expensive than Olaplex so keep that in mind okay so the next one is making a lot of buzz in dermatology circles especially for natural hair girls and this one is called e-press bond repair treatment um this also has a patented formula made with diethylexyl malleate to repair and strengthen protein structures um now e-press unlike Olaplex and K18 doesn't necessarily say bond repair right so you know I I read the in between the lines of the marketing and the semantics when these companies are saying certain things they didn't want to say bond repair so they said they strengthen protein structures so essentially it's almost like a protein treatment and i know it seems like we're bond and protein are synonymous right like they should be the same exact thing but remember there are multiple um there are multiple protein structures within the hair. There's multiple protein um, amino acids and all these other different things going on. Keratin is one of them. Bonds, like I said, disulfide bonds and hydrogen bonds are another form of protein structures with a different chemical compound. So the bottom line is that essentially these marketers and these manufacturers have found another way to get your money. But essentially what if you're doing protein treatments and if you're doing bond repair treatments, you're essentially repairing your hair's elasticity strength and strengthening your hair and structure either way it's just doing it a different way the mechanism the mechanism of action is different that is the bottom line so if you're repairing if you're doing protein treatments and or bond repair you're literally doing the same thing just differently it's a difference of getting stabbed the shot you just getting the job done and i was trying to find a better analogy but i just couldn't and i'm i'm trying to do this under 30 minutes so anyway that's e press and again, like I said, a lot of dermatologists are, uh, they're really fond of that one. And really it's mostly a protein treatment, but it has a patented formula. And I love patented formulas and I love technologies because they are designed to enhance the function of any active ingredient. So if insert the active ingredient and what it's good for, these technologies, they accelerate um, and enhance and optimize the functionality and the efficacy. So that's why I love that. IGK Antisocial Overnight Bond 
building dry hair mask. I haven't tried this one, but this one has me like really, really hype. Like I'm about to buy it when I'm done with this video. And it's because this is an overnight bond building dry hair mask. Bottom line, it says the dry mask contains proteins derived from vegan silk to soften and smooth hair while repairing damaged bonds overnight. Um, heat styling isn't required. It seems like for the most part, there's nothing like, there's no like major scientific breakthrough happening here. Um, it uses maybe something like an ingredient that for the most part is known to repair bonds, right? It's like using rosemary versus minoxidil, right? You're using something more natural that's kind of achieving the same thing. But what I like about it is I like the delivery. I like the delivery system. I like that this right here is a leaf. It's basically a leave-in treatment at night for dry hair. Remember I said for the K18, I'm not putting it on dry hair, on my dry hair. However, this one, you spray it in every night and that's it. It repairs your hair. Can you have bond repair overload? I'm gonna go ahead and say absolutely. Bottom line is just like protein overload, just like moisture, anything that you do excess of is just too, it's just too much. I'm trying to think of something that you can overdo that is not too much. I think my love for Christ is like, you can never do, you. I, I can never love him enough, right? But other than that, like I just think that everything has to be done in moderation. But I think for the most part, if your hair is coming back from the dead, if you're reviving your hair, if it's trash because you were just straightening it for like several months, like mine is right now, I think that this is something good to do. This is a great option for you until you maybe, maybe, you know, for two weeks, maybe for a month. I wouldn't do it every day for the rest of my life because then over strength, over protein leads to what? Breakage, right? Dryness, the same thing you're trying to fix. So I would listen to your hair, but I think when you find yourself, your hair is in a good place, I would fall back. But what I like, bottom line is if you spray it on your hair because it's a dry spray and it's for a leave-in for, you know, and you don't have to wash it out, you style and whatever. So I would put it in my hair at night, put it up in a ponytail, stick it in my silk bonnet, or if you have it straight, you wrap it up in a doobie and you go to bed. I mean, and you wake up and you, that's it. I'll give it a try and I'll follow up to let you know if it dries my hair at all. But IGK is known for being on the cleaner side of things. Um, And by clean, because <laughs> that word is really deceitful. It's cat. And by clean, I mean, it likes to, it uses more natural products, you know, less harmful chemicals. All right, um, right, I'm almost done. The Inky List PCA Bond Hair Repair treatment this one is affordable um for those of my girls who are bought who are baddies on a budget okay there's nothing wrong with that i know some of my products are really high up there but the, this is one that's really good for you um this one basically it has a start ingredient called pyr pyrolidone carboxylic acid Whew. That was hard, guys. That was hard. It's an active ingredient that works over time to repair, protect, and strengthen damaged hair bonds in its path, okay? The bottom line is this has an active ingredient in it. I'm not even gonna try to say it again, PCA. Anytime I hear acid, I think not only, not amino, but I think antioxidant. But bottom line is this seems like it's an ingredient that's available on the market for any product to use. It's not a patented ingredient. It's not a patented technology, which is fine. All it is is like minoxidil, right? Everyone and anyone can purchase minoxidil and put it in their products, right? But it still works. It doesn't take away from that. So this Inky List product, this ingredient, I'm not gonna try it again, PCA, apparently is an active ingredient that's available in the open market that anyone can use. And it's obviously, it's known, right? It's an ingredient that's probably proven to repair bonds. And that's why they can give it to you for such an affordable price because it's not costing them a whole lot, right? So I think this is a good one. It repairs bonds. Who cares if it's not exclusive, right? Um, if it's affordable. All right, so I have three more and I'm done. So Redken, I for those of you who like Redken as a brand in general, I think that you can't go wrong with Redken. They have really great products. They have Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Leave-In Conditioner for damaged hair. This is another leave-in. I love leave-ins, um, especially when we're talking about strengthening damaged hair because you do need it to stay in there and do what it needs to do. This one right here, you can use as an alternative to K18. While there's no proprietary anything going on here i think that the price and the brand like i said part of my criteria is looking at the reputation of the brand and redken has a great reputation for products that function well that do what they say they're gonna do so i think that redken's bonding concentrate leave-in i think that this is this is a good alternative to k18 um i'm sorry i'm speeding it up because i'm trying to do this under 30 minutes the other one is 
living proof this one is best for brittle hair if you have really really brittle hair it's their triple bond complex leave-in hair treatment it's another leave-in again i err on the side of leave-ins but triple bond complex leave-in hair treatment this one is really best for brittle hair i like living proof as a brand as well just like redken because living proof spends um invest in research and development and they do um you know they have good functional products with therapeutic benefits and so the last one because i'm almost over time is davina's natural tech nourishing hair building pack this one doesn't promise to repair bonds but this is a, a good protein mask that nourishes it uses rice proteins glycerin and sunflower seed oils all really really great ingredients to basically moisturize and strengthen the hair so this is a good two for one this is a protein and moisture combo in one okay um so this one right here is great for your money this is let's call this one an honorable mention because it's not a protein it's not a bond repair treatment but it's a strong protein treatment with nourishing and hydration anyway i gotta go i've been talking enough if you like this video if it was helpful please like help me out in the algorithm subscribe put a ring on it and go check out my other videos I will fuss at you, but I've already spent too much time. And thank you so much for watching to the end, especially because this is a little bit ghetto. Bye.